Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, the Middle Earth mod. Crusader Kings 2, Middle Earth Project mod, whatever. Um, awesome mod. Link in the description, check it out. Anyway, we're dwarves and we are on a quest for more monies. Currently, we're working on a few upgrades in our capital of Varakudum. Varakudum. Otherwise, we'd have at a double K. Um, let's just start fabricating and claiming the entire thing. Perhaps if our claims are strong enough. These are, sh these, these are weak. Strong claim on the house of Surakaba. Cannot be pressed. Um, usurp. There's no county rank titles. Oh, too bad. Perhaps if I have strong claims in all three of them, I can. But um, I can observe the entire thing. I think, uh, still think it's kind of bullshit that um, these two are not direct vassals of me, or at least my, you know, my own son. My own son. It is a right. You no, know, it is. I think it is. Should be. Whatever. Um, but yes, we are on the path of money, and small halls have been built. Wow. In a fortification 3, I'm alive, good. Um, wow, that is expensive. But we'll use it. Can we now claim title. No. Uh, Lindrum army. Wait. Do I start towards Warlord Fragon? What the hell is going on here? Whatever. Um, right. We wanted to see if we can usurp this. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. We do is we do own all the, the. We've got claims and everything, but we cannot do anything about it. We could fight him in um, for saying that we want to press all our claims. This is this, this basically these two. Um, too bad we cannot fight um, internal wars because. Our laws do not allow it. Which fucking suck. Let's see, can we look into these laws? Um, vessels are law upon the south of the petty kingdoms, and to the leech are minimal. That must mean there's something here. Um, enables kingdom vice royals feudal. A person system owes fealty to those directly above commands that are below. See it real quick, but I normally have a lot more information available. I don't know what the name of the laws is by by heart. Anyway, we're gonna create the big road. I uh, think yes, and then we're gonna work on in Lilo, and then we're gonna work on the other uh, four here. But at least we're gonna go be able to do that. We are at currently 15.8. We've got some minor messages. Okay, decided to release him from prison. Okay. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Um, we're gonna build the great road. That means that that is, I think, the final upgrade available in the road section. Who died? Oh, in, an, in an accident. This is suspicious. Eh, could be assassinated. I presume. 
I presume, I do a lot of presuming now, usually. Light inventory up that. It's worth 27. This is probably at 28 already. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I don't think there is any quick way for us to gain piety besides, you know, conquering stuff like this. But I really do not want another piece of that. Oh, that's surprising. This guy decided to dispose of the spiders. Oh, good for you. He's actually spiders resistance. Oh, he's losing. <laughs> well, 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 we cannot win everything. So there is a little bit of war going in. Uh, this guy is fight still fighting against Arnor. Oh, wait, this is Buckland. This is all... Oh. Fascinating. I did not realize that this was the same kingdom. He is in some trouble though. He's in war against the High King of Lintian, the Wilderness of R uh, Wilderness, that doesn't really matter. Um, some spider resistance, some spider resistance, and more spider resistance. So he's got three resistances for spiders. I think we can safely say that guy is not gonna hold on to that region. And perhaps even lose his wars. Interesting thing is, attacker. Oh, he is the attacker. Okay. Um, fascinating. Yeah. Well, we have actually surpassed our father in age. Good. I think dwarves should be really be able to get a lot older than they uh, let on, <laughs> so to speak. Um, right, we were working, saving money for the... Oh, the Dwarf Forges here are maximum at three. Uh, I think when... Then I knew they all lied. Everybody lies, and the courtiers are no exception. One of them dared to speak up to me and tell me one of this... I'm too cynical, and not everybody lies. Then I knew they all lies. After Larry told me not everybody, I almost started laughing. I told him like he could approve that. I would start believing in mankind again. So this guy is like, oh, you're an idiot. 20% chance of me losing cynical. Literally cynical. No, we're still cynical. We're cynical, fucking bitch. Bastards. Anyway, it's interesting that these are not universal. Let's go for the inner fortifications too, so we can start on building only large dwellings. So hills and mountains are still our favorite areas for money. I wonder if there's cities, there are differences. Walls of the ancestors. <laughs> um, we've, got, we've got no cities here. Have we got any cities in dwarven lands? Here there is. No, they are exactly the same. Ooh, marketplaces. Like them. Okay, so we are still trying to make more money. Money, 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 money. So yeah, I'm gonna make a... I might do that as the seventh episode of this week, so that will be a thing for Saturday. So, the sort of special in which I address the entire money thing and building um, stuff. So I play for a couple of hours um, and you know strip it down to 10 to 20 minutes with some music behind it. The great route has been built. Like I said, it's 1.5 tax. It does add up um, in the end. Um, so. If I want, I need to build holes, which is plus two. The forages give me plus ten if I would build this one. Wow. But that's a lot of gold, which we don't have. Um, for the holes, we need a lot of gold, and we need to up our inner fortifications even further. Which I'm really not in the mood for. Nope. We're gonna wait. 
And this guy went to war. With Chief Larigat of Linus to being raided. Um, oh, against you. Oh, you got your raids really out of the way. Wait, are you using coastal raids? That would explain how White's doing over there. Oh, I wish you could go raiding. Um, wait, you have got a truce with... It, what, what's, what's the result of the war? After... Arnor, I think, must have won. A white piece, neutral, okay. That's uh, awesome that they're at least displaying the pieces. I've de I think I've never... Funny thing is, I've played a few mods of Crusader Kings 2 and I've played a little bit of Crusader Kings 2. But I've never gone as in-depth, I guess, as um, this Let's Play. Because normally I pick one of the kings and I just start fling it, flailing around and, you know, conquer the world, crash and burn like I did with, with Gundabad after a certain period of time. And, um, yeah. This time it seems to be different for the first time. At least for me, because I normally don't spend that much time um, um, crap. Spend as much time, uh, you know, trying to get in depth of everything. Let's get, you know, figure out how exactly all works. Um, I'm still a massive noob and I don't understand the intricacies of everything. But, um, you know, it's a start, it's a start, it's a start. And I think a start is a good thing. So, yeah. That's that done, and do, are we going to do the roads afterwards immediately? We might, we might. I think in the long run, if we are not going to drop everything at the same point, so let's say we are going to focus on building one thing at a time and saving the rest of our money, eventually we should be able to drop, a, drop uh, the forge here as well. Sixteen point four. It's gonna be great. So we were I think at the end of this session we doubled our income. I think that is actually quite the uh well, I'll say achievement, but you know, it's 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 a big step forward. We doubled our income within our same realm size. Um you know, I'm quite uh, quite pleased with myself. And I'm going to only upgrade one country, uh, county at a time, so that we save money for the uh, Dwarven Forges level 4, huge Dwarven Forges, which perhaps is even a tier higher available, which would be uh, fascinating to watch. Ooh! This is... Northern Farthing. Wait, is Arnor seriously fighting against the Shire? And they lost. Um, and they're again at war with a little bit of Mordor. But the thing is, they're fighting with little bits of Mordor. Is this hostile due to raiding? Prepared evasion. Huh. Fascinating. This guy is getting his ass kicked by spiders. Spider. Spider. And probably there are spiders here. Oh, they're not, they're not sieging yet. <laughs> yes, the guy is shite. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So this will be done in... One month. One month. There we go, and we're gonna up the dirt roads.
it will be done in a year. So at least we can upgrade the holes further here, yeah, that's good to know. I like the fact that we are spending money, um, um, well quite a bit, we are constantly upgrading at least one county. And we're still increasing our balance, we're 16 and a half now. It seems that some of our cities must be starting to snowball. Um, 19, 20, 20, 19, 15, I don't know, we are somehow making more and more money. I think, if somebody knows this, I really appreciate it if you could tell me, but is there a way I can easily oversee my exact um, uh, spending uh, of money, my wealth? Um, so I, I see a balance, but somehow it must be calculated. Is there a screen that calculates it for me? Or, um, I can't figure it out. It really annoys me. Which really annoys me. Okay, paved roads. Well, it doesn't tell me how long it takes the upgrade. Two years. So we lost a little bit of money in that year, but uh, two years time we should, uh, you know, at least make a bit more. At least a bit more. Let's see, this rebellion is not really going anywhere. I think he's getting even more rebellions. Yes, these spider, they, they, the more and more and more spider rebellions. Rising up in his, 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 his country. Did it all originate from this conquering this province? You fucked yourself royally. Hmm. Brilliant. Did you increase in size? I don't know. And this is weird. Why is this? A different border. There's an wait. There's an internal. That's because of this. What's so special about this? I'm in Sol. This is the the tower that where Frodo got stabbed. Might be. It's a special region, it's a hills region. Hmm. Well, whatever. Um, I don't know, I'm not well enough in there. It should this Brie, I think. Brandy Hills, that means this would be Brie, I presume. Village of Ochulor. Where's Brie itself? Brie. Um, yeah, when they were going to Rivendell, this sh does, it sh could be that they were, Frodo was stabbed here, because he was walking, and then they ri rode the rest of it, and is this, is, the, is this the river? It doesn't show what the name of the river is, could be this one, or this one. I presume the river Arn Arwen Cross was this one, but huh. fascinating. At least I find it fascinating. Uh, you might be like, "Well, this is the most boring thing I've ever seen. Why are you talking about Lord of the Rings and stuff?" Well, uh, <laughs> perhaps because we are. Um, Playing a Lord of the Rings themed game, but uh, you know, could be me, could be me, could be me. Oh, we uh, went down. Anyway, um, I'm gonna cut the video here. I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye bye.